Hello, you amazing people in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Thank you for loving our community. Thank you for doing what you do. I'm Pastor Janet Richards at Downtown Bethel on Market Street, 517 Market Street. I just wanted to take a minute to let you all know that we are praying for you. We, we encourage you to keep on doing what you're doing. We thank you so much for being faithful at your jobs and caring for our people and loving our people. Those that are, are cleaning, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a nurse, whether you clean, whether you help with supplies, no matter what you do, we want you to know that we're thankful for you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, it says that we are one body, one body in Christ, and that one body has differing gifts. Now, we don't understand everything. Sickness and disease that you face every day. And that you get to see people come and you get to see people go. The things that you go through. We pray for you and we want to encourage you that you are not by yourself. We know that while you're caring for other people and you're loving other people, you've also got stuff going on in your own life. So we just want to reach out to you and tell you that we're available if we can pray with you. If you have a special request, you send it to us and we'll sure enough pray for you. We came down there last year and we held up some signs because we wanted to be able to get through to you to let you know that while you're out there on the front lines doing what you're doing, you've got an army backing you up. There's churches all over this valley. There's Christians all over this valley. There's people that are praying for you today and what you're doing. What you're doing, I can't do. Sometimes we feel guilty because we feel like we're not doing everything that we should be doing. And no matter how much you do, we always feel like it's not enough. But we want to thank you for what you do. We believe that the reason you're there is because God placed you there. And the things that you're doing are needful. So we thank you. You're on the front line. You've seen so many things. You've had to face death. You've had to face uh, a whole lifestyle change. So we just want to thank you and we want to encourage you with this. I would encourage you to go 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and just read through that chapter. And one of the things that it says in there is there's faith and there's hope and there's love. But the greatest of these, greater than faith and greater than hope, is love. And that's what you do every day. Every day that you go to work, sure, you may be going to work and you may be receiving a check. But this is what I know. People are sometimes hard to deal with. Sometimes people get cranky. People are sick. They don't feel good. And then you go in there and you do your job. And we want to thank you for that. We want you to know that, again, that we're praying for you. That And we're, I just want to take a minute and pray with you if I can. So, Father, I thank you for every employee, for every person at the hospital. God, we lift them up from the top managers to the janitors to every person in that hospital, every nurse every help to the nurse, every doctor, every technician, God, everybody in that hospital, everybody in an office and everybody, God, that's checking people in and checking people out, whatever they're doing. God, you said that there's different gifts for different people, but we are one body working together. So, Father, we just want to lift them up to you today, and we want to thank you for them, and we just speak blessings over them. While they're at work, we speak blessings over their family. We speak blessings over their home. And, Father, we just pray that they feel your love today and they realize that they can be your hand extended. So we speak blessings over them. Thank you for the grace. God, you said that there's a different grace given to each one of them. So let them walk in the grace that you've given them. And, Father, help them to know that they can depend upon you because you're a good God. In the time of need, you're always present in Jesus' name. We love you, and we thank you, and we bless you in Jesus' name. You reach out if we can say a prayer for you, if there's something we can do for you to encourage you and to help you while you're out there on the front lines. God bless you.